hi there. Uh, 2016 has been a great year for gaming and uh, this is my highly subjective and personal top 5. In 5th spot we got Pokemon Go. Now, I would probably agree that this is not the best game of the year and that as a, as a game it does perhaps not belong in a list like this but the experience I had with Pokemon Go, playing with friends, uh, getting out there, enjoying myself is certainly one that stands out in 2016. Um, I doubt that there's any game that people will remember more as a whole from this year than Pokemon Go and for its significance alone um, I'm, I'm putting it in fifth place. In fourth spot we've got Inside from Playdead. Uh, of course they made uh, Limbo which was a wonderful game. I feel like Inside tops Limbo uh, in many ways. It's a very simplistic game yet it offers depth and um, an interesting narrative and um, the visuals of course stand out. And in third spot uh, we've got a game that I think perhaps not innovating tremendously on, on its predecessor. Uh, we're talking about Dishonored 2. Uh, but it's just such quality and uh, it's rare these days to see a game that's really I would say that ambitious in terms of, of its world uh, its setting uh, and just the characters and everything in it. It's just just feels uh, feels great to have one of those uh, single-player experiences. It's it's a rare occasion these days when when a game like that drops and Dishonored 2 uh, makes my list because of that reason. And uh, in second place, uh, I would probably not have guessed that I would put it here. Um, not a huge fan of Nathan Drake, but Uncharted 4 was just such a such an extremely polished and well executed finale to his um, his Uncharted saga. It's it's just it's just quality throughout. It's it's um, great uh, great uh, moment moment to moment gameplay. Uh, it offers a lot of different things, and and you know just the, just the visual experience of it is is tremendous. Um, so that is my uh, runner-up to Game of the Year. My actual Game of the Year, and, and this should come as no surprise to anyone who's been, who's, uh, who knows my tastes in games, but um, for me it's been Civilization VI. Uh, I've, I've played it a lot. Uh, I lost... When it released I think I lost three nights uh, worth of sleep. Um, which is um, it's a rare thing these days that I actually do lose sleep over gaming because I I can play in the daytime you know that's a, that's one of the perks of working at Game Reactor uh, but um, it's just it's just extremely well executed and I really enjoyed the, the way they've mixed up the formula this time um, I think they've really uh, uh, they've, you know, obviously it's the same basic concept, but the ways they've they've tweaked that uh, makes for a very interesting experience. And um, I gotta say, uh, I I truly enjoyed it. Um, and of course, this is a subjective game of the year list, uh, so it's it's the game I enjoyed the most this year, and that's why it's number one. <laughs> 